Hey everyone, so one of the things that we need to do when we're doing hair color is we have to clean the hair. When you're working with hair color, it's the only profession that doesn't stress the importance of working on a clean canvas for the most part. So some color lines in a lot of your theory books that you learn from cosmetology school always stress dirty dry hair, dirty dry hair, dirty dry hair. If I had a nickel for every time I've heard that. Um, but think about it like this. Our professional color is the only one that stresses coloring on a canvas that's not clean. Think about if you are a makeup artist, if you have a client come in, face full of makeup, and they want to get their makeup done for a wedding, you're not going to take you know, your foundation and whatnot and color over that makeup. It'll look like a, a clown. It'll be a mess. If you work in the car industry, you have to clean the paint off before you put a new coat on, otherwise you'll create a giant mess. If you work in nails, if someone has old nail polish and you want to you know, add a coat of clear or a different color, you're not just going to paint over that mess because it won't work. So hair should be no different. If we don't color on a clean canvas, at best, you're gonna have fading and bad results, and at worst, potentially severe breakage and scalp burns. So there's all kinds of different demineralizing treatments. I'm not here to sell you on a brand or whatnot. I'm actually here just to test this. This is the Get Pure treatment made by Dr. Saeed, who also worked on some other brands such as Redken and made his own other products. This is the pre-chemical clarifying treatment. It is a patented purifying complex with natural baser in Cyprus. This product also has the active ingredient phytic acid, and what that does is inside the hair, if there's minerals, phytic acid is gonna hammer away at them. Think about those minerals being a boulder. Phytic acid is gonna be a hammer. It's gonna beat it down, crush it up, and when you wash it out, all the minerals are gonna go away. Now, on very severe hair, you will have to do more than one treatment. If you're doing a different brand, like Malibu C, you can do that as well, but you have to always, when in doubt, do a mineralizing treatment, test strand. If the test strand is bad, do another treatment. I've heard of people doing three treatments and that's how bad the hair is with minerals or other gunk. This will completely remove minerals, medication residue, chloride, airborne contaminants, hard water deposits, odors, silicone buildup, smokers buildup, styling product buildup. I'm actually curious about trying this in extensions because I've heard people complain that with human hair extensions and wigs, if you go on the airplane, which is like the worst, your wig will stink. And even if you shampoo it, you might have an odor. So you might need to do something like this. So I'm gonna try that separately, but in this video, I'm gonna test this myself. It's pretty easy to use. All you're gonna do is pump out two ounces. For short hair, you need a little bit less. You're not gonna massage this into the hair. You apply it with a bowl and brush, cap it, and under the dryer for 10 minutes. So I'm preheating my dryer downstairs. Same dryer I've reviewed before. I love the color of this. It smells really clean. And it's in a shampoo base. So I'm just using gloves so I don't make my camera all gunky. But this is safe to use. It's not going to burn you or anything. And you can use this before any kind of color service. So if you're doing color, perm, or whatnot, only time you wouldn't want to use this in my own professional opinion is if someone's getting a relaxer because it is such a strong chemical. You'd want to do this treatment, have them wait a few days, and then come back in so you can apply the chemical so it's not super... I mean, when I say a relaxer, I mean hydroxide relaxer. If you're doing a... Thio, fine, because Thio, you apply it to clean, damp hair. Relaxer is the only one that I recommend that you do on dry hair because you can actually burn someone if you're not careful and you want experience in that. So I'm going to get right on to applying this. I'm going to do just kind of rough sections. You really want to focus on the mid shaft and ends with this product. It's not the scalp that you want to focus on per se. But I like the shampoo base. And you also want to always do this in dry hair. You don't want to take this and do this on uh, wet hair because it will not work the way it's intended to work. I know as professionals, we always like to break the rules, but sometimes you got to follow them. And believe me, I'm like the biggest rule breaker ever at products. <laughs> They actually had this at the Energizing Summit, but I never got a chance to buy it. If I had bought this, I probably would not have had room because my suitcase was completely filled. Lesson learned, check in two bags next time you go to the Summit because of all the good deals. Good deals and dangerous deals at the same time. And normally I'm not a big spender, but if I truly believe a product and I try it and it works, I do go a little overboard. <laughs> So 
So I'm gonna finish applying this in the bathroom so don't make a mess. And I'll be back to show you guys the finished result. All right, so I have put it on my hair. You don't wanna oversaturate this. So if you need to go over you know, two ounces, do about half an ounce if you have really thick or long hair. So I just did that to make sure everything was colored. You can gently rub it into the mid shaft and ends. You don't wanna massage it into the scalp. And then now you're just gonna bag it. And I'm gonna go under the dryer for 10 minutes. It's moments like this, like I wish I had my own salon and um, friend to help me out. But it actually, it's pretty funny because I'm my first salon I worked in, I actually did a lot of my color at home because I just didn't have the time during the day. And the salon I'm at now is amazing, so. <laughs> and then I can also have some of my students do it, so that, hmm, that might be something in the future. When I am finished my educator program, I might do some fun videos, but that will be in the near future. So I'm gonna go under the dryer for 10 minutes and I'll be right back. Hey everyone, so I finished using the Get Pure treatment and I have to say that I'm very impressed with the results. Not only was it really easy to use, but as a professional, this is something that I'd be really happy to include in my services. Typically now I've been using Malibu C and I don't necessarily think I'll get rid of Malibu C as a whole. I love Malibu C for their color removers, their tr tr quick treatments I can give to clients for retail. This, however, is an insulin service. You're not gonna be selling this to your clients, but if you are a client and you're watching this, this is a treatment you wanna see if you can get done or Malibu C. But the treatment that this was specifically was great. If you can look at my hair, the amount of shine is incredible. My hair feels smooth and glossy. And it was so interesting because when you put this on, it's a shampoo base, but when you wet it with the warm water and you start to lather it, you get a nice lather, it invigorates the scalp. And then when you rinse it, you can even see, once you rinse it and then put conditioner on, your hair feels incredible. Even the ends look really healthy. It does not strip any color, didn't take anything out. I will say though, if you have had a lot of mineral buildup, what can happen is that when it removes the minerals, it can actually take the color out because the color is not actually adhering to your hair, but it's adhering to the minerals. And the phytic acid is gonna break those minerals down, shove them out, and as a result, you may lose some color, but it's better to have that happen and then recolor as opposed to try to color over dirty, dry hair and then get a bad reaction. Because minerals, while they're good for our body, they're horrific for our hair. Mineral buildup in hair, even just hair color, if you've ever looked at it under a microscope, anytime you put hair color over minerals, which are metals, we're taught never to mix color in a metallic bowl. We're not applying color with a metal brush because there's a reaction. And you'll see under a microscope, wherever there's minerals, it looks like the hair has been burned with a cigarette as if someone took a hot cigarette and just started sizzling it. That's what minerals will do to our hair with the reaction. And with lightener, it's even worse. I've seen people get third, second degree burns, horrific pictures. And it's really something to be aware of because typically in this day and age, when we have better products, better conditioning treatments than we ever did, people are stressing using you know certain additives in your lighteners and colors and this and that. The additives are not as good as the science. You need to know the science and that's why Get Pure is a must for me. All of my clients know that I color hair on clean, damp hair. I do a mineral removing treatment, whether I'll be using this in the future or another one, the science behind it is the same. I like this because this is quicker and it gets the job done just as well. So one final look at my hair, if you guys can see, I'm super impressed by the results of this. I love the shine, I love the condition. It's an all around great product. And this ring light makes it hard to see, but my hair actually is red. Um, it's a really nice medium red. It makes the shine look incredible and I can just get my fingers through, no shedding, no nothing, no irritation. My scalp feels clean and healthy. And even every, even the sides look really good. This is like such a nice treat to do at home during this time of um, reflection. I have a little dryer at home that I you know, put the dryer on, put it on hot, or actually it's supposed to be warm. My dryer is a hood dryer, so like they're warm is like regular dryer cold, so I have to put it on all the way. If you have a stronger dryer, try to go for more of like the medium temperature. But it's really relaxing. So if any of you have tried the Get Pure treatment, whether you're a professional, let me know down below. If you are a professional, please, please, please look up Coastline Education. You will not be disappointed. It is one of the best programs to do. They have business classes, color classes, cutting classes. All the information is general science and it's the real stuff. So in cosmetology school, we learn stuff, but cosmetology school, it only teaches you the bare minimum. It's almost like kindergarten is, you know, to quote Franco Marino, who's amazing. It's like kindergarten. After that, you still have to do classes. You still have to advance what you like, pick what you like, color cut, and then craft whatever you'd like to do specifically and advance that. 
you have to do years of education to really get anywhere nowadays and that it should be stressed the importance of that you know passing the state board finger curls not finger curls finger waves pink curls all that stuff that you learn a year for that's not meaningful you need to learn something meaningful basic sanitation you need to learn you need to learn the science you have to learn scientifically why it works and then advance it that would be my ideal and this should be stressed in cosmetology school so that is it for the Get Pure treatment. If you have ever heard of it or tried it or had it done, if you're on the consumer end, let me know down below how your experience was in the salon. I always like to hear from the consumer end too because it really you know, gets me to think like, well, how can I do things differently? So if you guys like this content, please consider subscribing down below and I'll be on with more videos for you.